Look at your shoes. Rubber. Look at your shoes. Rubber. Look at the table and the chairs. It's everywhere. And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. June 15th, 1844, 170 years ago today. The date, a troublesome natural ingredient bounced back. For that was the day Charles Goodyear received a patent for his improvement in India rubber fabrics. Rubber certainly needed improving. Untreated tended to melt in the summer and to freeze solid in winter. Goodyear, a financially struggling tinkerer from Connecticut, had accidentally stumbled upon the solution, exposing rubber mixed with sulfur and lead to heat. Rubber, he said in his patent filing, will be so far altered in its qualities as not to become softened by the action of the solar ray or of artificial heat, nor will it be injuriously affected by exposure to cold. Goodyear named his process vulcanization after Vulcan, the ancient Roman god of fire. As it happened, Charles Goodyear never fully reaped the fruits of his rubber breakthrough. He died in poverty in 1860 at the age of 59. The process he invented, of course, lives on, adopted by all the major rubber companies in the manufacture of countless rubber products. They're even making roads out of rubber these days. As demonstrated in this 1951 instructional film from the U.S. Rubber Company. Most rubber goods have to be vulcanized to give them their permanent shape. <laughs> there she was, looking like a donut <laughs> or a tire. Charles Goodyear's name lives on as well, adopted in his honor nearly 40 years after his death by a new rubber company based in Akron, Ohio. Today, despite plenty of competition in the rubber and tire business, Goodyear is still a name people look up to, especially when one of those Goodyear blimps is flying by.